Okay. And it's looking like we're live. I'm going to wait for some of my chatters to chat. Make sure the audio is good. And then we will go. I'm trying to get all this. It's a lot of information. I'm trying to get this all in the frame. And I don't think that's going to happen very easily. Hey, April. Oh, great. Okay. I never can tell with this mini cam and what I'm using what I select when I first come in. <laughs> Welcome. Hey, Joan. Okay. Uh, this is going to be um, not a long stream tonight. I am pooped, 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 poop out. Hey, Jan. Hey, Colleen. Um, hey, Jim. I am pooped out. We moved my mom in with me for the duration of this craziness just to make sure we wouldn't be cut off from her and not be able to get her what she needs when she needs it. So she's here. Hi, Linda. Hi, Sharon. And uh, plus I'm working from home every day. So it's been a little cray cray, but that's okay. Hey, Eileen. Okay, let me get right to it since I don't have a whole lot of time tonight, but I'm going to try to come back several times for the duration of this sale for sure. So um, eye stencils, as many of you know, eye stencils, um, they're working on a new website and launched it. Um, Sherry did say that during checkout processes and different things, we may find a little bug here and there. And if, and if that happens for you to contact her through the customer service line through iStencils. She'll remedy it, remedy it right away. You won't, you will not miss the sale. Hey, Jean, my neighbor. Hey, Janet. Everybody's coming in. Hey, Judy, Mitzi. Hey, everybody. You will not miss the sale because of a glitch on the website. They haven't had any, but just because it's new and it's launching and she didn't want to put it off any longer. Those things take a while to get resolved and get running. So, um, here we are. So the sale she's doing for us is crazy good. Let me get zoomed out here so you can see that a little bit better. I tried to write it on here. I don't even have the, um, printout I used to get yet. Hey, Gail, Nisha, that's a new name. Welcome. Um, so iStencils.com, brand new site. You guys probably all here know that Joan Smithies in blue, one of my moderators, has a line of stencils on eye stencils as well as I do. Hey, Patty, welcome. Um, hey, Kiki. Yeah, right. So um, you can find mine and Joan stencils under my name. Patty Tolly Parish is the heading. And you'll find her stencils are, have her name and their JS number, whatever, where mine are PTP number, whatever. Um, and I'll show you all the designs here tonight and we'll play a little bit, but I don't have a long time tonight. So the big news is she's beat out all of her previous sales with 33% off the entire site. Now, if you're not familiar with eye stencils, they have way over 3000 designs. Um, hey, Dar, way over 3000 designs. There's plenty to find for everybody. What I always recommend for people to do is when you, when you see something that you like, put it in your cart because when you get out of the artist categories, when you know it's like minor Jones stencils, that's pretty easy to go back and find. But if you go into some of the other categories that are the eye stencils and different ones, they're hard to go back and, and there's, cause there's so many of them. So if something you like, put it in your cart, you can always take it out of your cart before you check out. But 33% off the entire site is crazy good. Um, you will also, she, Sherry also, also offers a free exclusive design for orders over $50. But this time, it's not for orders over $50. It's for any, if you order one of my stencils and or one of Joan's stencils as a minimum, you will get... Get out of there. Let me get a piece of black paper so this shows up better. You'll get the free exclusive um, stencils. So basically, if you wanted to, you could go buy one of Joan's stencils. You'd get this one free. 
you don't have to have a minimum purchase to get this one free anymore. So this is the free stencil. Hi, Lane. Hi, Z. Um, that anybody will get if they order one of mine or one of Joan's stencils. Um, Sherry, after the sale, she's going to donate 10% of the sales to a COVID-19 charity. And she asked me for, for charities that I was aware of, and I, I didn't really have any good information for her at the time. And it's been kind of a scramble here with moving my mom in and, and uh, working from home still every day. So um, I didn't know which one to tell her. So if you guys have suggestions, let me know. Just email me or something. That would be great. Hey, Judy. Laura Lou. And, uh, but she's going to donate 10% of the overall sales to a COVID-19 charity. Free domestic shipping as always on orders over $50. The sale runs for a week. It started yesterday, the 23rd. It's going to end next Monday, the 30th. So instead of Thursday to Sunday, she's doing the whole week. Um, if you don't meet the $50 order for free domestic shipping, your domestic shipping in a flat rate envelope will be $299. International will be $11.99 flat rate, which I think is a really good rate for international shipping because it's always so expensive. Penny in the vault. Who else did I see? Tindaloo, hi. So let me get started showing you these because, like I said, my time is a little bit limited. But we will roll. I got Jones out here. We'll ro roll right into Jones' new designs. And for those of you who don't know, that's Joan Smithy. She's one of my mods. You'll see her name in blue roll by. She's the one who designed this um, this freebie. And see what they say on here. PTP stencils by Joan Smithies. Right? So that's the freebie. Put that, put that somewhere safe. So here we go. These are Joan's. This one's called Broken Links. All right, I'm going to go through these kind of quickly so we can get to play with them a little bit. This one is wind windswept. Hey, Gala. Hey, Judy. This one is called bobbled. Kind of look like Christmas ornaments, but not. <laughs> oh, now that Gala's here. I must share some of the most stupendous and gracious and generous happy mail of all time. I got to show you guys this. Let me make sure I get this done right though. Hang on. So I got an envelope from Gail and this is what I got. She sent us some sheets of toilet paper. Uh, a stack for Dave, one square for Monday, one for Tuesday, Wednesday, and so forth. A full week, all the way to Sunday. And I got the same. <laughs> Except for, I also got an emergency sheet. <laughs> you knucklehead. Ah! Oh my God. Yes, I think I'm going to put these in a shadow box and put them up in my living room so everybody can see these. Something not right with you, girl, but thank you. <laughs> hey, Jerry. <laughs> uh, this is another one called Tire Burst. I tell you, the hardest thing about doing these stencils is naming them. Oh my God, I dread that part. I don't know about you, Joan, but I was like, holy mackerel. These are wheels on fire. And the, if you look close, they look like little flames in the spokes. Oops. Hello. There you go. Dream catcher. You look at it this way if you want to see more of a dream catcher look to it. Joan's stencils are all A4 size. Because she is from A4 land. Captured hearts. <coughs> Excuse me. 
four, four Cascade. Patty, what's Joan's last name? And I have done so I didn't see her. You will find her, Dar, under my heading, under the Patty Tolly Parish heading. And her, her last name is Smithies. She's in chat. She's right above you. Joan Smithies. Um, and her stencils are the JS stencils underneath my name, my heading. But hers are separate from mine. They're not all intermingled. Camtasia. That's almost kind of tribal looking to me. Abstracted. She's, I'm telling you, she's a designing machine. Any which way. I love this one too. Indecision. That one looks all too familiar these days, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, Susan. This one's called Tumble. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, or if you just assumed that. There is no coupon code. It's open to the whole site, to anybody. Um, there is no coupon code. Whatever you buy between the 23rd and the 30th of March, uh, we'll get all those, all these goodies. Oh, Gail, you better be sending me another package then. <laughs> this is zigzag two. I guess there's a zigzag one that I'm not remembering right off the top of my head, but I'd have to assume so. Uh, cross tire tracks. They probably got this design from Paul wheeling Joan around in her chair at a craft show and her seeing something he needed to quick back up and do a U before. That's what I'm guessing this came from. Some of the tread marks they left in the dirt. <laughs> this one's called Captive Hearts. Oh, zigzag. There's another zigzaggy. That's where the one is. Wobbly. It's another one of my favorites. And here is another one of these, which I think this is a brilliant way to design these, Joan. Um, this is called Variations. This kind of looks like some scripting going on here. But all of these, uh, what I did with my other set that she did, the last release of this, I cut mine apart. I left the tab on one little end so I had something to pick it up with. And I cut I cut them apart so I could use them individually. And uh, I find them more useful that way. But you could certainly leave them connected to use them. You don't have to use the whole thing when you stencil. You can just do an keep this together and do part of this on an ATC. You don't have to, you know, have to use the whole thing. We make our own rules here. Hey, Libby. And a round one. Celtic imagination. I saved my favorite for last. Where is it? Wheel of Change. I love that one. So that's a ton of them that Jones got here. And let's see what else we got here. So you guys have seen me play with my new set of pictographs um, already, I believe. Um, but this is pictographs two. You've probably seen that come up in a few of my projects lately. And this, these are the same symbols, um, but they're done in a smaller font size and kind of mixed up. 
uh, and it's, oh, did I name them all? They both say pictographs too. That doesn't seem right, but anyway, this is the one with the smaller font of the same, the same characters, just kind of jumbly mumbly up there. Um, where's my other eight by tens? So my stencils are done in an eight by ten format, and I did that purposely for when I started to do stencils. I um did them basically for the first jelly plate that came out, which was the eight by 10, but you can use these on any size jelly plate or on an ATC, on a card, whatever, as is for any stencil of any brand. Um, this one's called crazy eights. This one is called large orb. Kind of a 3D, wow, spooky. Hey, does it give you that same thing, that same effect we were doing that time? Doesn't look like it does. I'm a little disappointed in that. <laughs> yeah, I do too, Joan. Uh, Jan. Jan. I'll get it right. Jan, Joan, Jean, Jan. So this is pictograph clusters. These are my original pictograph symbols done so they are mixed up smaller font and kind of skewed a little bit all right so there's more small ones jan this one is called target stripes so that's kind of basic but one of my favorite stencils of all times that i did hey becky is my stripe stencil. And I have several stencils that are just stripes of different sizes. Some are wavy. But the ones that are like this, um, they are so useful in all kind of all kind of stuff. I'll often take it off the edge of a design like this and just pounce paint through it and make it look like little dashed lines here and there. Um, all kind of all kind of stuff that you can use that for. Really? This one is flower power. Just a bunch of dot kind of circles, kind of look flowerish. A little fun retro design there. This one is called Targets. Gotta love some circles. And this one is Oblong. Another very basic one that you can use in different you know, a lot of different ways. So my stencils, I made the eight by tens, but then they came out with a six by six jelly plate shortly after that. So all of my stencils are available in both sizes and you'll see some differences. Like here's the crazy eights, but there's only two because you'd have to make them so small to fit on a six by six. It wouldn't really make sense. Right. And the orb, and the pictograph jumbles. And this one. Flower power. Less flowers because they're just, when they shrink them down. All right, you get less room on there. Here's the pictographs. And here's the pictographs too with the... Um, Ah, smaller characters. See the difference between them? Right. Okay. Thank you, Miss Eileen. Yeah, there, so a lot of card makers do like the smaller ones. Um, for sure. I'm going to put these in here to keep these separate. My stencil drawer is totally out of control. Hey, Christine. So, uh, let me get some of these out of the way. And let's get out a little jelly plate action. Does anybody want to see anything in particular? Oh, for those coming in late, I'm going to go over this again because I'm going to I'm going to cover it here in a minute. 
Uh, iStencils.com. How do you store your stuff? Oh, my God. April. They're crammed in a one of the Alex big wide flat drawers. No rhyme or reason. I, did, I had to used to have all my stunts, not mine, all the ones I own. When I before I designed my own, I was crazy about Julie Faye Fan Balzer, still am, and uh, have a, quite a few of hers. I've got some other brands too. And I used to have them all in here and then adding mine to them. There's so many of mine and Jones now, I had to get rid of everything else and use these because it makes, you know, it just more sense for me to use these, especially when I'm streaming. Um, but anyway, so yeah, they're not, when you come up with a really good idea, let me know. You could sell it, I'm sure, sell your idea. It's not good. Um, so anyway, iStencils.com, they have a new website. If you have any issues with checking out or things in your cart, contact Sherry through uh, customer service and she'll resolve it right away. They should, there may be a glitch or so, any, like any new sites that launch, but it will be resolved and you will not miss the sale that runs a full week. So the difference this time from previous sales is that it's 33% off the entire site. I've never seen a stencil sale 33% off. Not just mine and Joan's stuff, over, way over 3,000 designs. Oh, thanks, Eileen. Um, you get a free stencil, which is somewhere handy. Not handy. This is one of Joan's designs. It's a freebie this month. And generally, if you've ordered before, you know that the free stencils, you have to have a minimum order, dollar order. And I forget what it was, if it was $25 or $50. And then you got the free stencil. This time, if you order either one of my stencils or one of Joan's as a minimum, you will get this. You only have to order one of either mine or Jones and you will get this for free. 10% of the entire sale is going to go to a COVID-19 charity that Sherry is working on picking out. If anybody knows of a good one, email me and I'll forward that to her. Um, free domestic shipping as always on eye stencils for, for US shipping on orders of $50, always free shipping. Like, again, the sale runs for a week, the 23rd to the 30th rather than just four days that it usually is. If you don't make the minimum $50 order, domestic flat rate shipping is $299. International shipping is $1199. And no, there is no code. There is no code. That This is set up for the entire site to be this have these perks for the entire site for that entire week. So um, Sherry just, she's, the site's up and running. Um, like I said, could be a glitch or so, but she thought it would be a good time with everybody, uh, you know, wanting to look forward to something to give them the best deal that she could. And, um, you know, spotting, sending a, a donation to a charity as well, I thought was really, really cool of her to do that. So um, anyway, let's go. Does anybody want to see any particular one? Um, the sale, the sale started yesterday, Dar, 23rd to the 30th. Oh, raising hands. All right, let's just start slinging some stuff down here and do something. Shall we? I think we shall. Let's start off with something dark. Totally missed the plate on that one. Hello. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, sorry. I looked up at my husband standing right in front of me. He's very stealthy. Oh, my God. You scared the crap out of me. What's up? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I, was, I wasn't bad until you scared the crap out of me. How did he hear me and Uncle come down the steps? He came with you? No, but he ran all the way across the house and ran down the steps because he Oh no. I did I'm concentrating. This is serious business. <laughs> Good God. Bless his heart. I'm gonna move this so we can keep this information. And I'll try to roll off over here. Look how bad my I gotta clean this. I got boogers all over this thing. 
All right, let's do this one because I've just been dying to do this one. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm just going to play for a while. Hey, Debbie. Oh, did you? Thank you. I like to have people wait and take advantage of when there's a sale. Another reason why I'll never, I'll never have any money. <laughs> I try to give as much away as I can. All right. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, adds to the texture. Okay, oh, Tom did it too. Oh my god. Hello. I'm old. <laughs> oh, maybe that was intentional. Hey, I have about 70 witnesses on the line here, hon, if you snuff me. Little rascal. Okay, let's do let's let's play with um let's do something. What are we gonna do? Something. Something, something. Um Hmm, I don't know. Let's do this. I'm gonna put it down right over here. That that was um the dick flick matte acrylic in dark deep blue. Hey Amalia. So I'm just gonna mix and match some stuff here. We'll see what happens. Just a little a little skimpy layer. Oh, I got a squeaky brayer. Oh crap. I forget this paint is the one that goes almost all gold. Now see on here it looks kind of the purpley. Not so much. When you do it on here. Hey Shauna. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Excuse me. Let's get some black on the plate. Let's try to do. Let's let's try this. Let's just put some regular old black acrylic down here. A little heavier than normal. Oh, that's squeak. You guys gotta love that. <laughs> Keeps me awake. All right, I'm going to do this. This is the freebie. That if you buy one of Jones or one of my stencils, you'll get that. I'm just going to stack. Oh no, I should probably show you the clean print first, right? The squeaky brayer, that's for you, Gala. This like the squeaky wheel. <laughs> Heard you got a big score on Amazon today. Nothing like saying to your friends, hey, Amazon's got TP and stuff. That's all right. Well, you did send me some, though, so I can't really bitch about that too much. That looks 3D there, doesn't it? It looks like the, the squares are on an angle raised and like with legs under them. You guys see it that way? Oh, I looked another way and I saw these little like, I don't know. It's flipping on me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm having a stroke. I know, right? She could have told us, but no. I'm just going to layer on this one. Grabbing it all for herself. Sorry, right. you don't care if I'm using curtains. I told Dave that's when the neighbors are going to realize we're out of toilet papers when one panel at a time the curtains start coming down. <laughs> that's the cleanup. Now I'm going to try to do I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something different in here. I'm going to put this one down here so I get a little bit of the paint off before it dries. I'm not get it too gunked up from the get-go. Because I do gunk them up. <laughs> yes, I do. So I'm going to take... Um, oh, 
oh, I just had a thought. I'm going to take some of these sprays and spray it and see what happens. My brother posted something on Facebook the other day that said something like, um, I used to spin the roll of toilet paper like I was on the, uh, on, uh, what's that game show during the day? Let's make a deal. And, uh, I don't know how, what was the rest of it? He to, now he spins it like, I forget the punchline. Doesn't that suck? All right, let's see what happens. This could be total disaster or really cool. Um, let's put that on. Oh, look how it's separating and only stay. Oh, that's probably not good. That's only going to be over the paint. Let me have a piece of something here. I'm going to take a piece of rice paper. But you know what? I'm going to do this again to try to get some in between the holes there. You drop it like it's hot. Try to get it while it's spread out. So this could be, as I said, a design. Oh, pretty cool. We'll see. Hey, Gilly. All right, here goes nothing. Oops, look at that, tearing the paper. Was that April leaving? See, April, if that was you. Well, I'm going to let that dry because I think that's going to actually look pretty cool. I like what's going on here. I don't like that it tore, but that's okay because it left all the design there where it separated. Okay. But you can see a shadowy, shiny mix in there. See the gold? And you can see some of the blue in there too. I'm going to let that dry. Put that in a special place to dry. Let's see what happens. Okay. Um, any special request? Snake skin. Yeah, kind of. Let's do this one. This is Jones Wobbly. Wobbly schwobbly. Um, Let's do a little bit of this. This is one of the folk art. Um, treasure gold in aquamarine. And I'm going to put some of this rose gold down with it. Same, same brand. Oh, you got some already? Sharon, wow. I'm telling you, they are really quick to get their orders out, too. Let's see what this looks like. You know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this, I'm going to press this in here. And I don't want to pick it up. I just want it to make an impression in the paint. I never do this. Here it's got an impression in the paint. Let me pick that up and see what that looks like. Instead of being a real clear reflection of what the stencil looks like, it should be kind of ghostly. Natafi? From France, welcome. Well, you can't see much of the stencil in there. But, well, you can. Actually, why, if I turn it, can you guys see that? It's hard to see at that angle, I know, but that's where I can see it when I look down at it like that. It's in there, but look at all the different... Um, like the, it's making like a color shift out of it. 
that's kind of cool, actually. I don't know if you can see this. There you go. You can see some of the stencil design, too. It's almost so shiny that you can't see the design. Hey, Terry. Uh, is that deli paper? Yes, it is. If do you cut it down so no fold? No, my I buy the twelve by twelve sheets with no fold in it. That's how it, that's how mine comes that I get. I get it from um, Sam's online. All right, let's try. Let's put a little thump thump. You guys know how I always like my pop of black, right? Let's do a little. Let's take this one again. We're gonna use this one again because that's kind of that's got all kind of cool stuff in there. So let's take a little papa, a little papa. I love to brayer black paint. It just really rolls out. All right, I'm going to do the press. Put them face down that way. They work either way. Nobody knows the difference. Nobody knows the difference what's front and back but me. Yes, stay at home and watch videos. That's the best thing for everybody to be doing now, no matter where you're from. It's late there, too. Yeah, I've seen the 15 by 15 sheets. Actually, I wanted to get some of those for whenever I use my bigger, my 12 by 14 plate. I never have gotten around to it, actually. Okay. So, see the little pop of black on top of that one? Kind of pushes that stuff all in the background. Doesn't that look stupendous? Mama like that. Okay, I'm going to try to take something else that I've already used. I'm going to take this and just try to pick, clean these holes out of this. Try to do a little patina action on here. April. Oh, you're still here. I thought you said somebody was saying bye, April. The one with the stripes. We can do that. Now, hang on. Oh, here, right here. I'm going to use these. These are the PBO Dino. Dyna. D-Y-N-A. They're the ones that the paint is one color and the mica for the shimmer is a, a different color. So this is orange yellow and green yellow. And I know that sounds like it's going to make mud or baby poop, as we like to say, but shiny baby poop is very pretty. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> it's going to be getting in my way. So I'm going to take a little teeny tiny bit of this. Oh, look at that booger. Good night. A couple little schmutz of that. A couple little schmutz of the orange. Get out of there. All right, now I'm going to try to mix these by twisting the brayer around as I go because I want them to mix and be shiny baby poop. See that bronze color coming up in there? Now I'm going to wipe off that. I'm going to let the weight of the brayer pick up some more of that excess shiny paint. And see what it starts to reveal the where that paint went into the holes of that stencil. All right, I think that might do it. Let me pull that.
Oh, what happened there with, uh, well, I don't want to mention any names, but apparently I missed something. <laughs> Looking at your stencil, lots look like germs. Intentional sign of the times or just me? I think it's just you. <laughs> I don't see any germs yet. One of Jones was suspect. I will say that. And these designs were done way before anybody knew about what's going on now. Okay. Let's see. That's kind of cool. You can't hate that. Okay, let's see. Stripes. The one with the little stripes on there? Or you mean the whole stripe? I'm going to try doing this one too because I'm curious. I haven't even played with these yet. Um, let's. What is this? I don't know about that one. Um. I think these two colors look pretty cool if I remember when Robin was doing this. Kathy, I didn't know which Kathy is that my is that Dragonfly Kathy? Oh no, Kathy Berg. Hey Kath. Put a little bit of this dark dick blick down, and then this is the folk art metallic uh, ice blue. A little bit of that mix. Oh, Jesus, that's too much. Okay. It was a little juicier than I was expecting. Mix it up. Let's see what happens. That one print I pulled at the end of the day, last stream on the, um, on that, um, the heck's it called? The kanji paper? That was actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. It looked, it kind of reminded me of what this looks like laying down there. Oh, I laid that down too short. That's going to all be down this end. That's okay. That's just me. Let's try to pull it on black. It's got some metallic in it. I don't know if it's going to show much or not. I always try to like to rub in the direction of the holes. The cutouts of the stencils. Well, that was a little more subtle than I thought on this paper, but you can kind of kind of see it shiny. Let's see here. Let's take this off. And let's do something crazy. Let's try this one. But let's do the mine gold on top of that. That's another one of the treasure golds from Full Cart. Vicky hooked us up with a link a few weeks ago where they had a um, if you're on the folk art mailing list, uh, you get emails about sales and they had 40% off everything. So that's when I got this. Otherwise, it would have been $14.99, I think, for this bottle. It's four ounces. And I probably wouldn't have paid that for it, but it's really nice paint. All right, let's do, oh, shoot, what I wanted to do. I get stuff in my head, and by the time I actually go to apply it, I forget it. <laughs> I'm old. I can't help it. Now, let me put this down. Let's pile this up on top and see what happens. Oh, I'll have to tell Sherry that cuts off. The, oh, you know what? I bet I'm supposed to lay it the other way. Maybe? No? 
Well, that'll have one impression. Oh, huh. Interesting. Let's get that little bit of a print off of there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at those little ribbons of what came out of there. That's cool. Let's see what that one's gonna look like. I wanna get I wanna get some of my tissue paper out and print on the tissue. I should cut some up. They're very large pieces. I gotta cut them down. Would that paint compare to Golden's? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's a different consistency. It's not like the fluid Golden's that I have. Maybe a heavier body one. I don't know. But um, they're definitely a thicker. They're very creamy, but they're definitely thicker than the fluid acrylics of these numbers here. Right. It's got several ghostly images through it. You can see the stripes and the, the dots around there. And then the orb. Um, let's see what else we got over here. I wanted to save this. And I wanted to use a little one. Because people have asked me about that. I've gotten emails when they saw me playing and talk. I showed these one other time a week or so ago. All right, let's try. I'm going to see what this one looks like. Oops, oops, oops. Hang on, I'm all discombobulated over here. Does it matter how much room I have? Let me do this for the Jones next. Where's that one? I, I really like that one. Here it is. I'm going to put this one on top so I remember to use that one after this. <clears throat> um, let's do something like gradient, shall we? Uh, this goes up and down this way. So let's do, this is black flash. And then let's do... Need more paints out here. We don't have near enough paints out here. There's a few. Of course, that one's not unwrapped yet. Let's put that. So that's Black Flash. Let's do some of this metallic peacock pearl. that one. Hey, Gina. Did I miss somebody else coming? Andy? Hey, Kath. All right. I don't know what this is going to look like. We're just going to do it. That looks like. Um, you know what? That one I'm going to print on black just for gigs. You feel like Otis? Like on Andy Griffith? <laughs> Are you hammered? Are you drunk in a jail cell somewhere? Similar to me in Arizona. 
when we went to dinner at that walked in that bull's head to go to dinner through the jaws of a giant bull. I like that. I like any kind of circle. Okay, let's leave that down there. And then let's do something like... Um, something like something. I'm thinking of. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go with the block... Early, no, Black Flash again down here. I don't know if this is going to mess it up or what. We're going to try it. What? It's a piece of paper. We'll just do it again. And this is just some white. Golden's fluid white. I know that seems weird. That's okay. We're going to kind of do Robin's like, what is it, Mark Rothko? Is that the guy's name that does the, the pages that are like half one color and half another as and she used them for background these stuff let's see and let's just put this down here like this and then get all smutchy together i'm starting to love the squeak <laughs> oh no does anybody see what i see <laughs> get off. the nerve of you <laughs> for allowing this to happen Oh, why me? <laughs> she looks a bit like Otis. Good God. <laughs> I don't know, you all. You witnessed it along with me. <laughs> That's just wrong. Now you see how random these, these things happen to me, but underneath all this stuff, you can still see the shadow of that other print, which is what I the point I was trying to make. <laughs> oh, ain't she pretty? Okay. Good gravy. All right. Let's. Let's do something. I'm going to put a little bronze. I feel bronzy. <laughs> right, Judy? I mean, you saw what I did. I, it just happens. I don't know why. This one I'm just going to pick up and with those shadows in there. Um, I mean, the white shadow is kind of a bonus, I guess. But, oh, no pun intended. <laughs> One word, not two. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You nasty. <laughs> oh, mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. <laughs> I should just do a stencil like that and just do it intentionally and just get it over with. Oh. Lordy. Okay, now that's like almost overshadowed, all of those. Well, you can see it against the white. Shall we call it a landscape? I don't know. We'll see. Walk away. Okay, let's this. I'm going to try this one to Jones. Oh, uh oh, there goes another one of Jones on the floor. Get back here. What time is it? Almost 8 30. Okay, we'll go a little longer. A golden one. <laughs> that one's upstairs, Penny. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, 
started to do something. Let's go back to Black Flash. I'm going to go this way now. Maybe. And a little bit of this titanium white. <laughs> it won't go away. All right. Let's do a little bit of this Aztec gold by Arteza. Just a little eeny weeny bit in the middle ish. Oh, that's enough. I saw a set, thanks to Zandra, of 10 tubes, this kind of tube, but the tubes were all black, of Arteza metallic paints. It's a new set coming out. Had to order those. They're not here yet. But um, I think the Aztec gold is among those. Put a little bit of this. Patting up my black gold Sumi ink today. Can you use... Oh, uh, yeah. You can let a little coat of paint dry on the plate. A real thin, thin, thin layer. Uh, dry on your plate. And then you can write over it with a brush. And... Um, Put another, let it dry, and then put um, put another uh, thin layer of paint over it to kind of seal it. Sandwich the ink in between two really thin layers, and then while that layer is wet, pull it. I think this one's going to look pretty cool. Oh. See that color shift in that bottom one? That's that black flash. And let's take gold and then the white picking up other stuff on the plate. You just can't hate it. It's going to be a pretty cool pickup too. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this one because it's got big open spaces on it. And I'm going to put a little bit of this Dragon Flash on here. I probably should let that dry, but I'm not patient enough to do that. So I'll just try it without being patient. I just want to get it another little layer of interesting on there. I'm going to put this one here. And see what that looks like through those holes. Key Odal, 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 Key Odal, my first watching live. Well, welcome. You're in for a treat. <laughs> oh, and that's one of my reminders for my mom. Oh my goodness, I got a weather announcement. Breaking weather, buildings damaged, injuries reported after tornado hits northeast Mississippi. What the hell else is going to happen? Lordy. Um, Dave's, Dave was notified of the 8.30 alarm. <laughs> I 
That's her Klondike bar time. <laughs> Trying to keep her on her schedule. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, look at these. Where the blue against that dark. Hello, lover. See, sometimes the simplest designs. I can see a, like a, a long swatch of this on one of my next collages. Somebody remind me of that. And, uh, you know, layer it up there. Here's this one I forgot I laid over here to dry. It's all wrinkled up. This is the rice paper that tore. But now you can see a little. This one I did with this black paint, and then I put the set sprays over it. I don't think it warrants a Hello Lover, but it is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Oh, I still got the stencil down here. What are we going to do with that? Let's do... Oh, you know what? I know what let's do. Um, there's so little left under here, though. I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to do what I never do because it's really messy, but I'm going to do it. I want to put the paint on top of the stencil. So it just goes into the holes. Right? And then that mix of all that stuff under it should also come up when I lift this. Now I just made... Ooh, look at you! <laughs> look at you! Uh, yes, Jenny, these are... Uh, this one's mine, and the other one I just used was Joan's. Um... Hey, Lynn. I was supposed to remind you. Oh, great. That's working out well. Gail and I reminding each other of something. Oh, mercy. I wonder if I should let that dry. You know what? I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to pull it on black, I think. But will those colors come? No, they won't print no on black. I'm going to do it on Deli. I'm going to. I'm going to plug this in. And I'm not using the heat. I'm going to turn the heat off and just use the air. He's done. To dry this a little bit because I'm impatient. I don't want to wait. I'm going to go till 845. I'm going to split the difference. I'll go 8. It, there's no coupon code this time, Janine. It's all The whole website is automatically 33% off of everything. Let me move this while I dry it. 33% off of everything. You get... Uh, uh, the free stencil with either buy one of mine or one of Jones and that's all you buy. You still get the free stencil. Uh, Sherry's going to donate 10% of the total sale to a COVID-19 charity. If you're in the States and your order's $50, um, you get free shipping. The sale runs a week. It started yesterday, the 23rd. It runs till the 30th next Monday. And if you don't make the $50 order, your domestic shipping will be $2.99. International shipping is $11.99. Okay. Good enough. Look how this kind of like puckered a little bit. See all the little like pinholes in there? So now that's dry. Do I want to pick it up with Black Flash or Dragon Flash? Such decisions. Well, let's do this. Why make a decision when you can have it both ways? <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, Janice. Oh, you'll make the 50. I tell you, if you like stencils and you have the funds to take advantage of the sale. I'd never want anybody to take advantage to buy stuff if they don't have the funds to do it. Um, if you have the disposable income, especially now, um, now's the time to take advantage of it. There, This is the best um, discount ever since I've been with eye stencils.
Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's clean her up. Yeah, like I was telling everybody um, earlier, when you're looking at the site, they've got way over 3,000 designs now. If you see something you like from any brand, put it in your cart. If you don't want it at the end of the day, if you end up with 100 in there and you don't want to buy 100, which I would not recommend spending that much money, unless, of course, you just won the lottery and then please have at it. Um, but then you can take them out of your cart. It's easier than trying to find it again in a site that big. A little tip I learned the hard way many years ago. All right, let's see what we got. Well, you can't hate that either. Not too shabby. Okay. Uh, what are we talking? Where are we? 837. Anybody want to see anything particular? I don't have a Facebook group. I do have an art page that's Inky Obsessions and, of course, my personal one. I know the shipping. I don't know how she does. I don't know if she loses money on every order with the shipping. I don't know. But $11.99 international cray cray um let's see oh i wanted to show jones um where's that round one with all the shapes on it here we go here we go here we go these are i think very useful and this is one of jones new designs it's called and you'll find jones designs under my patty tally parish heading and you'll see hers are js whatever the number is and it'll say um, PTP stencils by Joan Smithies. Um, this one is JS88 called Variations. I usually cut, I'm leaving them together to show how they come, but I will cut these apart and leave one of the tabs in place. Don't try to tear these. Let me tell you, don't try to tear them. Ask me how I know. Um, this mylar is really um, sturdy and um, you, you will likely damage the stencils by trying to tear them apart. You're better off taking a little scissors and just a little snippet, snippet. Why when I say snippet, snippet, does it remind me of a vasectomy? I don't know. Um, why am I tapping so much? I'm just like my brain's shut down. Um, Let's go back to this dark blue. I do like this color. It's called deep dark, dark blue deep. Oh, right words, wrong order. <laughs> um, but it, it almost has a turquoisey kind of a look to it when you wipe it down. I don't know if you can see that on there. It looks kind of turquoisey. All right, let's just mix these two. You may see the freebie. I just have to put my little mitts on. Here it is right here. And it's black so you can see it. There's the freebie. That's one of Joan's designs. It's kind of like 3D looking. Can you see it now? I see it. Like little pedestals with feet. That's the freebie. I just want to mix these up on the plate. So, here we go. Oh, and you know what? This is an A4 stencil on my 8 by 10 plate. So, I'm going to miss a little bit of these edges here. But you'll get it. You'll get it. The first one, Kath, that was um, 
the Dick Blick, Matt Acrylic. Er? Dark Deep Blue. I love using Deli because you can see where you're, you need to schmutz a little bit more. This one looks like scripting to me underneath there. Where can we buy the paint? Uh, I don't know if you're in France, if you can order through Dick Blick. DickBlick.com. Um, it's a huge website for artists in the U.S. I bet they do ship international. I'm not positive, but it is their own brand. And here's the and fine prints. There's the website, dickblick.com. They have a whole line of their own paints, and they carry goldens and everything else, um, artist-grade stuff. Uh, I would be willing to bet if I had to. Joan, you might know. Do they order? Do they... Um, Oh, look how those little slivers of gold came up where the paper wrinkled. So there you go. You can see that one. And I'm going to pull that off. And I think I'm going to let my paint, my plate dry with that on it so I can pull it next time. We'll start fresh. We'll see when that is. Um, I'm going to try to get in as many times this week live as I can to... Um, Make sure everybody gets to see this and take advantage of it. Hey, Jerry. And, uh, oh, and by the way, I did get this. So after I get this eye stencil sale under my belt, we're going to try this and see how bad I have to cuss that one. So here's some of the prints we did with some of the new designs. I think this might be my favorite. It might be. Here's one of Jones. Love that stencil. This one didn't show up like I thought it would, but it's shiny and pretty. This one speaks for itself. Speaking of Dick Blick. <laughs> hey, Micah. This one. This was just kind of a cleanup of a mishmash of different ones layered. I do like how this one picked up in those. Circles. That one didn't show up well on the black, but you can see the design. Here's the patina print of the new pictographs. And the bigger, oh, same size pictographs over a layered print. That's one of my favorites, too. Here's the freebie. And the freebie reverse layered over a bunch of other stuff I cleaned up. Here's one of Joan's round ones. That's new. So, there you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut her short and uh, get some rest. Mama is pooped, I can tell you that. So, um, do they make bigger stencils for the golf? I stencils has stencils you can use for walls that are 36 inches. They make on some of the mine are only eight by eight. I'm sorry, eight by 10, six by six for the two most popular jelly plates. And then they came out with the eight inch round jelly plates. I have some round eight inch designs and Jones designs are this round one is Jones. And then her other designs are a four. Um, but other brands do have other sizes. And the eye stencil brand itself, um, they have, you can sometimes have five or six different choices of sizes. And I mean, some of them are massive. So you can see uh, all different ones. But if you, if you uh, take any of these and you can layer them and piece them together and use them on any size jelly plate. Depends on the look you're going for. If you want a seamless design over the whole thing, 
Uh, you'll probably want to look at some of the eye stencil ones that have um, where you can get a bigger size so it fits on your whole plate. All right, everybody stay healthy. Stay in. Stay safe. Follow the guidelines. Wash your hands. I'm not washing mine. Anyway, all right, I'll see you guys soon again, I hope. And um, yeah, until then, take care. Thanks for joining.